going on YouTube? It's Vinny here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to replace a spindle assembly on a Cub Cadet XT1 LT46. Alright, here's the tools you guys are going to need for this job. I'm going to start with a jack to jack the front end of the mower up. You could use a flathead and a screwdriver to chisel off any dirt or excess grass that might be covering some of the bolts. We have an impact gun with a 3 8 drive and a half inch drive. We're going to have a half inch torque wrench with also a 3 8 adapter and as well as a 24 millimeter socket. That's going to be to take off the blade. You have a half inch breaker bar, a 3 8 ratchet with a 8 millimeter socket and a 10 millimeter socket. The 8 millimeter socket is going to be for the belt cover and the 10 millimeter socket is going to be to remove the spindle assembly. Optionally, you might want a flashlight and also a block of wood. All right, first step is going to be to park the mower on a level surface, but if you do not have a level surface, then make sure you chalk the back wheels or block them off with a piece of wood. And then we're going to come around to the front and you're going to slide your jack under the front end of the mower. And as you guys can see here, there's this piece of metal that sticks out. That's where you're going to want to jack it up and make sure you're clear of that support rod that attaches to the mower deck. All right, next step, we're on the right side of the mower, and we're going to get our 3 8 ratchet with the 8 millimeter socket, and we're going to remove the three bolts on the pulley cover. All right, once you have those three bolts removed, the belt cover should be able to come out. All right, now with the belt cover removed, you guys can see here is your spindle assembly and the belt is still wrapped around it. And if you look over here, you kind of get a little cheat sheet on the routing of the belt. So just take note of how everything is before we disconnect everything. All right, now we're going to look under the mower. And as you guys can see, here's your spindle assembly right here. And there's going to be four 10 millimeter bolts. And now some of these might be covered with this dirt. And that's why I recommended maybe a flathead and a hammer. You can kind of just chisel that dirt away so you can slide your 10 millimeter socket on and then start to remove your spindle assembly. All right, I'm going to use my impact gun for this. We're going to get our 10 millimeter socket and remove the four bolts. Okay, with those four bolts removed, we're gonna come up top and you're gonna want to grab the belt and slide it right off of this pulley here. And now your spindle assembly should be free. So we're gonna finagle this out of the mower deck. All right, now with the belt free of the spindle assembly, we're gonna just come up here. We're gonna lower the deck down a little bit or, or maybe all the way. Push the belt out of the way. You should be able to lift this right out of the mower deck. All right, here is a quick comparison of the new and the old spindle assemblies. I just want to show you guys the reason we're replacing this spindle assembly is because the owner of this mower hit a root and then damaged a blade, which then also when the nut was either coming off or going on had mess these threads up so it's kind of unusable at this point so we're just going to throw a new spindle assembly on and we also have a new washer and a new nut all right the part number for the spindle assembly is 618 p09258 part number for the flange nut is 712 zero five one three four and the part number for the flat washer is seven three six three zero eight eight you guys can find links in the description for all of the parts and tools used in this video all right so before we install the new spindle assembly you guys are going to notice that the new spindle assemblies come without the threaded holes for all four of your bolts so i went ahead and we got the new bolts that come along with it they're self-tapping screws a 10 millimeter socket fits right on there and you can do this by hand which is going to be really tough but basically you're going to hold it straight down like this and keep a lot of pressure down on your ratchet as you tighten them in by hand. And alternatively, if you have a impact gun, you could carefully use the gun to zip these down. Keep a lot of pressure down on the gun when you do this and also make sure that your spindle assembly is on something soft like this pad down here so you guys don't destroy the thread on the other side of the spindle assembly. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how I do this. I 
I'm just gonna tap it. And as I'm tapping this, I'm keeping a lot of pressure down on the gun. Also making sure that the bolt is going down in straight and not on an angle. And now once you get towards the bottom, you don't have to go any farther than that. So we're gonna back it out. Hope you guys can see that. You can see there's threads in there now. So I'll show you guys one that doesn't have the threads right there so I'm gonna go and pre-thread all of these holes and then take the bolts out so then when we go to install this in the mower it'll be a lot easier All right, and just like that, we have all our holes are threaded and we are ready to install the spindle assembly back onto the mower. All right, with the mower jacked up, we're gonna lower the deck. You can sit in your new spindle assembly as well as reroute the belt onto the pulley. Once you have the spindle assembly set in place, you can lift the deck back up and we're gonna reach under here and start to thread in all four of those bolts by hand. All right, so that's the spindle assembly in the correct position. So we're gonna come under it. Now I'm gonna hand thread each bolt in just to get them started. You can also use a long extension to kind of help you turn these in to get them started. Okay, now that all the bolts are started by hand, I'm gonna zip them in with my impact gun, but I'm not gonna fully tighten them with the impact gun. I'm gonna come back with a torque wrench and torque them down to 30 foot-pounds. So I'm gonna do a cross pattern. All right, not sure if you can see it, but we got 30 foot-pounds set on the torque wrench, and we're gonna tighten these in a, again in a star pattern to 30 foot-pounds. Okay, now that the spindle assembly is installed, we're going to reinstall our blade. And for this, you can either use a block of wood or with this lawnmower, they actually sell a blade stop that you can use and all it's gonna do, it's just gonna stick out. And when you go to put the blade on, it's gonna stop it from spinning while you tighten it down on the spindle assembly. So just don't forget to remove this once you're done because if you try to start the lawnmower up and those blades try to spin, you're gonna damage either the blade or the spindle assembly. So you're gonna take your blade and if you look on the blade, it's gonna say grab side says it right there so that's gonna be the bottom and if you look at it the ends of each blade are gonna kind of flare up towards the top of the mower deck all right so we're gonna set the blade on the spindle assembly make sure you match up this hole with what's on the spindle assembly and make sure that it's sitting flush on there once it's sitting flush you can install your washer like that, and then go ahead and install the nut. And before you tighten the nut all the way down, just make sure that the blade itself is in that keyhole and that it's on correctly. Okay, next we're gonna tighten this down between 70 and 90 foot-pounds of torque. I'll probably go with 85 to 90, just to be safe. And this is gonna take a 24 millimeter socket. So we're gonna do 90 foot-pounds with a 24 millimeter socket. So you'll see as this thing rotates, I'll show you guys. All right. All right, so just to show you guys how this blade stop right here works. You see the blade, as I go to turn it, it hits this blade stop here, and that allows me to torque the blade nut without having the entire blade spin on me and having to use a block of wood. All right, that's 90 foot-pounds. All right, and it's always a good practice to double check the other blade as well while you're down here. All right, that's 90 foot-pounds. All right, and if you guys did use the blade stop 
Don't forget to remove this once you're done. Always remove this before you even lower the deck. And all this basically is is a simple clamp that can clamp onto the bottom of the deck and it just prevents the blades from spinning while you're torquing them. Okay, next with all that done, you guys can lower the deck again. And just double check all your belts are routed correctly onto the pulleys. Slight diagram right here if you guys don't know. And once you can confirm all the belts are routed correctly, then we can go ahead and reinstall the belt cover. It's gonna take three eight millimeter bolts and I would recommend just starting these all by hand. and then you can zip these all down. I could not find a torque spec for these. Just snug these down, all it is holding is a belt cover. Gonna raise our deck back up once we're all done. We can lower our jack back down slowly. And that is pretty much it. All right guys, and that about wraps it up. That's how you'll install a new spindle assembly on a Cub Cadet XT1 LT46. Uh, if you guys have any questions, leave them down in the comments because I will get back to you. Uh, if this helped you out, please leave me a like. And if you guys are looking for more of this kind of content, hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.